Hello and welcome back everybody. I am the only T bro and today we're gonna to be talking about building materials. What building materials you should use, uh, where, and uh, my, my kind of suggestions. Uh, also we'll be talking about their beauty, their flammability, and other different and important traits. Alrighty, so first up is wooden walls. Now these are the most basic walls. They are the quickest to build. That is their one strongest factor. They are very quick to build. They have no beauty. They have no um, additional building cost. But they are extremely flammable in comparison to every other building material. They have a flammability of 100% um, in comparison to the next highest at 40. The pros are, yes, they you can build them fast, you can build them on almost any terrain other than water, um, but you can build a bridge and then build them on top of that. Uh, their hit points are basically the lowest of the most standard uh, items, steel, other stones. Um, yeah. The one strong pros that Wood has is their building speed and also their door opening speed. If you have wooden doors inside your uh, house, the house that you might build for your people, uh, they do open the fastest. They're at 120 door opening speed. Next is steel. Steel is the second fastest build along with the other uh, metals in the game. They have a train requirement that is medium, so they can't be built on every train, but they can be built on more than the heavy items like stone. Now it has more hit points, 300 for walls, 160 for doors, and they also have a door opening speed of 100%. So these are also very good doors for inside your house. The one negative of steel, and what is very odd for this game, is that steel also can burn. Uh, it has flammability of 40%. Um, this is the second highest after wood. So it is a fairly decent building material, but they do have some downsides. My suggested uses are definitely in when you need to build new areas or in zones like an ice sheet where you can't find wood, but you might be able to get a lot more steel. It's a good choice there. Good first choice and then moving on later. Next, we're gonna talk about the stones. There's five stones to really be used. Uh, sandstone, slate, limestone, granite, and marble. Sandstone is the quickest to build with. It has a work to build of 14, compared to 15 for marble, 16 for slate, limestone, and granite. However, the one benefit of working with all the stones is that they are inflammable. No fire can burn them, so it's much better protection for the outside of your bases. Raiders cannot just light it on fire and then walk it in. They also have a much, much higher hit points. So steel was at 300. The lowest of the bricks is slate at 390. So this is almost double uh, wood. This is double wood. Uh, then it moves up with marble at, oh, sorry, marble is the lowest at 360, then slate at 390, uh, then sandstone, limestone, and granite. So granite is really your strongest choice of bricks for an outer defense. One negative of working with all of the bricks is that the slate door and all other doors have a much slower opening speed. It's twice as long to get through. So if you have multiple doors in a in a hallway with a stone door, it's going to take a much longer time to get through that hallway for a pawn. And that's why I always suggest going with wood instead of uh, a brick doors. The other thing to note is that these require a heavy terrain they have a requirement for heavy terrain. So you might have to dry up a marsh to put them in or build them on other rocks. You cannot build these on the lighter terrains and you cannot build them on bridges. 
One other thing to note is that the walls for marble are more beautiful. They do have a plus one beauty in comparison to the negative or the zero beauty of all the other stones. So it is a good choice if you're trying to build a, a room to use marble for the walls, especially in early game. The next group of buildings are the other metals, silver and gold. Uh, the other main metals, I'm gonna call them. Now, first thing to point out is that these cost 10 times more resources to build, so each wall piece costs 50 silver. A simple building like this will cost much, much more uh, than stone blocks, wood, or steel. The upside to that is that they have a much higher beauty rating. If you look at them, silver is at plus six for a wall, gold is at 20 for a wall. These are best used for an incredibly opulent room. If you have somebody who requires a beautiful room um, because they're, say, greedy, Throwing in one or two gold walls will basically get them there. The other benefit of silver and gold is that they only have that medium train requirement as well, and they're very quick to build. These are at a three work to build in comparison to those 14, 15s for the steel or for the stones. They're equivalent to steel. The other benefit of these doors is that they are at 100% opening speed as well so you can put in a golden door or a silver door if you really need that opulence um, and you don't have to worry about speed. Now the last classification of walls and building is the jade, the plasteel, and the uranium in base game. Now these are a little bit rarer resources it's hard to find a lot of jade. Um, Plasteel is often used for other, more important requirements, and uranium, you, you generally want to throw that into a turret. Um, but, let's talk about all three of them as if you might use them. Now, jade is actually a pretty good and decent wall material as well. It's very beautiful for those opulent rooms. It is plus 10, so in between gold and silver. Um, they cannot build a, a floor with jade, unfortunately. However, their door, which is also quite beautiful, is also at 100% uh, door opening speed. However, the work to build is more similar to stones. So it's much higher work to build uh, jade rooms. They also have a much lower hit points. They actually have um, the lowest hit points in the game for walls and doors. So much more likely to use it inside your buildings, inside those rich, rich rooms that are very protected. Um, and maybe on somebody who's not going to go on a mental break and destroy them. Plasteel. Plasteel, like I said, is often used for other uh, resources and for other buildings, such as crafting weapons or uh, late game technology. However, it's the strongest base game material. 840 hit points. Uh, for a wall in comparison to granite which is the third strongest and the strongest stone at 510 so it's basically having like having almost a second wall uh, the beauty of the walls is again negative or zero I keep thinking it's negative and the plasteel doors do have a door opening speed of 100% now the work speed they do take longer to build than steel, but still much quicker than stone. Um, so that is an important thing to note. Now, the final one is uranium. Again, should be, is, and is often used for rocket controls or even uh, melee weapons. It is the second strongest in the game at 750 hit points. Again, almost one and a half times higher than granite blocks. Um, this is the one interesting door. It has a door opening speed of 75%. Um, again, this one takes a medium terrain requirement, same as plasteel, so you can't really build them on all terrain. One thing to note is auto doors don't change the speed and don't really change the hit points of doors. Um, they just open quicker in comparison to a normal door, 
but they're still equivalent in speed. They all have that same speed if they're unpowered, um, and they all take the same amount of power, 50 watts. So in using auto doors, it might be more interesting and more important to go with a stronger door or a more beautiful door um, than with going for necessarily a specific door. Those were all the building types of the main and normal walls. Alrighty, so next we're gonna talk about floors. Now, this one's gonna be a little bit less directed and I'm gonna jump from talking about beauty, then flammability, and then cleanliness. One interesting thing about all floor types in base game RimWorld is that they have 100% movement speed. Um, this is about as this is as good as you can get in base game, um, and even uh, choosing any of the floors is better than no floor. Now first things first, to go with wooden walls, we have wooden floors. Now wooden floors have a zero beauty, um, it is one of the few that have zero beauty, the other is flagstone, whether it is marble, such as this one, or slate or any other type of floor. They have a zero beauty there, there, and there. Um, the other ones that have zero beauty are paved steel tiles, or no, sorry, paved tiles and sterile tiles. Now the only one that has a negative beauty is concrete. The one benefit of concrete is it is the cheapest to build at one steel per tile. So it's very good to throw them down in areas where you're going to have lots of movement uh, quick and before you want to put in a lot of resources. Next is obviously steel. This has a one beauty. This is a fairly common beauty. Um, steel as well as every single main tile type. Um, so even marble, though it has a beauty of one in the walls, still only has a beauty of one in the floors. So I'd actually suggest not using marble tiles for floors, instead using some of the other ones, specifically slate or limestone, since they're not necessarily the easiest, uh, the strongest or the most beautiful in the walls, or strongest or quickest to build. Now, the next most beautiful at two is just a carpeted floor. These require cloth, um, and they're fairly cheap to build, and they're very decent. Your fine stone is next at four beauty. Oh, sorry, fine stone is next at three beauty. Uh, de regardless of what type of floor you use. Again, I would suggest using something other than marble so you can keep marble for your walls to be more beautiful. Your interior walls to be more beautiful. Fine carpet is also the next most beautiful. Uh, the one I mistake for the fine stone. This is a plus four. However, the um, the cloth use is 35 per tile, so it is quite difficult to pave to floor an entire room. So I would warn against using this until you're sure you have enough cloth or you have a place that can grow enough cloth. Now, in the pursuit of a gorgeous room, s silver tiles and gold tiles are the best way to get to it. Silver tiles with five beauty is better than every other base you can do. Um, but it's still nowhere close to the 12 of a gold floor. Now, gold floors are going to be very opulent, so I'll warn you about wealth very early. However, if you have somebody who's greedy, throwing a couple floors down will definitely help sate their greed. So flammability of floors is also one of the next most important things. If you have a base that's running on power, a z could really destroy your base. Now, interestingly enough, there's only three types of flooring that are flammable. Uh, the wood flooring, carpet, and fine carpet. Now, wood flooring is 
less flammable than carpet, but still obviously flammable. So a wood base is very easy to go up. It is interesting that while steel walls are flammable, steel flooring is not. So none of the steel floors, paved tiles, sterile tiles, concrete, or steel tile itself is flammable. This is also the same for silver and gold, which while silver and gold is flammable as a wall, the silver and gold tile is not flammable. So th these can be used in safer. So you might decide to go for a gold floor and a jade wall to have two inflammable objects. The final important attribute is cleanliness. The reason cleanliness is important is that research speed is increased by cleanliness and so, um, and so is infection chance. So is infection chance reduced by cleanliness uh, is the best kind of way to explain it. Now there's four tiles that actually have a cleanliness factor. Most are at zero, uh, still better than rough ground. Uh, so even, even the most basic floor will help you in cleanliness, but the four tiles you should look at are steel tiles of a cleanliness factor of 0.2. Silver and gold are both a factor of 0.2 as well. And finally, the most obvious sterile tiles at a 0.6. My biggest suggestion is going from a steel tile up to a sterile tile in hospitals. That way, when you, if you don't have the silver to create a sterile tile, you can at least get some cleanliness bonus. This works as well for your research area. So today we talked about a lot about the building blocks, what type of walls I would suggest using, um, what type of walls I wouldn't suggest using. Um, my final thoughts, are there are certain mods that add extra walls um, one that comes to mind is the vanilla expanded insectoids with chitin walls because um, i often play with that so this will obviously change your decision depending on what other mods you might play with but in base games i will give three major suggestions early game um, depending on what necessarily your land has wood and steel walls are great for getting buildings up and getting people in out of the rain and then suggest moving over to some sort of tile. Now tiles, I would suggest two or three things. Granite walls, definitely for outer defenses. Sandstone walls for early game defenses, but granite walls later and marble for your interior base. Again, remember the flooring, I would suggest not using marble for flooring, but using other ones such as slate or limestone. Personally, I love the look of slate and I use it more often, but it is in reality the worst stone block there is for building. For an opulent room, the best suggestion I could go for is jade walls with gold floors. You don't have to worry about sits and you'll still have an opulent room with 10 beauty on walls and 12 beauty on floors. For major, major defense, and if you're running overflowing with resources, Plasteel and Uranium are great for walls in and out of your base. For flooring, just go with your feelings. I suggest laying off concrete in later games, but early game, use it to your heart's content and then switch it over as soon as possible. I've been the only T-Bro. You have a great day. Goodbye.